today's video is going to be a new look and at H&M haul. So I did two really big orders recently. I've really been struggling to find summer bits that I need. So I just thought probably would be best if I just put a big order in and then just tried it all on at home, see how I could style things and do it that way. I normally do prefer shopping in store, but I think high street shopping is definitely going out and it's much easier to shop online definitely because of like sizing having sizing in stock things like that actually having enough stock to choose between things i find that, that at the moment i've really been struggling to find things in store that i actually like so i just thought let's do a big order and hopefully that will be the best way to solve this issue so there's a few things that you'll probably see repeated in both of these orders. There are a few things that I'm specifically looking for. I think I've got quite a bit of a mix from both shops. So I thought I would just show you, I'll try them all on and maybe show you what I would style with pieces with if I do like them. And hopefully it gives you also a little bit of inspiration for what to wear this summer and what you can get online as well at the moment. If you would like links for any of the pieces that you see in today's video, please just let me know in the comments or you can always head over to my Instagram and send me a DM over there. If you don't already follow me over on Instagram, I am at Rose. It would mean so much to me if you could subscribe to my channel and definitely turn on your notification bell so that you know every time I upload a new video. So without further ado, let's get on with the haul. I thought I would start with the new look order. So it's quite a big bag. I've not ordered anything of this size in such a long time. The last time I did such a big order was probably in lockdown. So I have already had a look, a sneaky peek at all the bits in there just to make sure that I had everything from my order. But I've not tried any of it on yet. Well, actually, I lie. Apart from one pair of sandals which I've already worn out because I just couldn't resist. Yes, I've not tried anything else on, so let's get trying things on, shall we? I have just popped the first dress on, and I feel like we're starting off really well. I've just got on this really pretty, kind of off-white, midi dress with the puff sleeves, and it's got black polka dots on. It's got a really lovely, flattering v-neck. And I love the way that it actually scoops round and goes round my waist as well. It fits so lovely. I love the sleeves. I am a sucker for a puff sleeve. I just think it seems to add like a bit of a vintage flair to an outfit. It also has this really gorgeous tiered detailing part way down the dress. And it is the perfect midi length for me as well. This dress also has a lovely tie waist that you can just tie around in a little bow at the back just to cinch that waist in a little bit more, which is lovely. I just love the way this dress flows as well. It's so, so nice. I will just pop it on with something that I will style this with. So I'd go for a pair of black Converse and a little cream bag as well to go with it. But I feel like this dress is so versatile. You can style it with sandals, obviously, in the summer. Denim jacket could go over it for an evening. You could also pop this on with some heels for a going out outfit as well. Spice it up with some jewellery with the lovely V-neck neckline as well. It's the perfect dress to have maybe a little bit more of a statement necklace. This is a good start. Next up, I have just popped on some of the white shorts. This top isn't part of the haul, but I recently got it actually from Vinted. It is originally from H&M, but I got it for like £3 off Vinted and I absolutely love it. Anyway, the shorts. So these are like a really nice tailored short, obviously nice bright white. I think they're a really lovely length. They actually cover my bum, which is perfect. The only thing I'm unsure of is the pockets. So when I'm like walking, they kind of gape a little bit. They don't quite sit right and they don't sit flat. So I think that would annoy me. But apart from that, they are really lovely shorts. I will just quickly style these up and show you how I would style them. 
obviously I've popped on this top like I said. I'd also pair them with some more pink accessories, so my pink June sliders and my pink Michael Kors crossbody bag. Okay, we started off strong with the dresses and it's gone rapidly downhill. This dress, I personally absolutely hate it. It is, it fits awfully, so it is absolutely huge on me. There is so much extra material, so I hate the fit of it. It is a very comfy material, it is very stretchy, so I think it would be a lovely, nice summer dress for like a barbecue or something. But I just hate the colour, I hate the print. I saw it online and I thought, oh, it's a bit brighter than the pinks that I normally go for, but maybe I should branch out. Obviously, I was very wrong. I really hate this colour. It's way too bright. I just, no, it's just awful. And I really dislike animal print. Nothing against people who like it, but me personally, it is really not my style at all. And I think this just looks like animal print. I don't know if it's supposed to be online. I didn't realise it was going to have all these different colours in. Hopefully you can see it's got like yellow, green, black and white. I thought it was just like a white kind of polka dot um, print. But it's not. It's yeah, all very colourful. A bit too colourful for my liking. But yes, this dress is an absolute no from me. So I will not be keeping this, absolutely not. And I won't even bother styling it up because I don't even know how I would style this. Just, no. Next up, I have on the first pair of denim shorts. I just got one pair from the New Looks website. I really like the length of these but I don't think they're the most flattering shorts. They're just a classic kind of mum fit short. Very basic. I think they are the right kind of colour I'm looking for. I'd maybe go a little bit lighter than this, possibly. It just feels like there's too much excess material for these. So I don't think I'll be keeping them, but they are just a very good basic mum short. So if you do like the mum short style, I would definitely recommend going onto the New Look website and getting these. I've just popped on the top like I had on at the start of the video with them and I will quickly show you how I would style these as well. I have actually got these shoes from the haul too, so just a nice basic pair of brown sliders. I think these are a really good staple in any wardrobe. I have already worn these out so this is the one item that I've worn out already just because I absolutely loved them. I would also just add on a little brown belt just to continue the tan colour throughout the outfit and I've also just popped my basket bag which has the tan colour as well on the strap and on the bottom just to complete the outfit and bring it all together. Next up we have a, another midi dress. So this is from New Look but it's the apricot brand. Unfortunately it's just not quite my style. I do really like the pattern and I like the neckline and the, sh and the sleeves as well but it's just this bit here that I hate. I really don't like how high the waistline is. It's literally sitting right underneath my boobs and I think it makes my boobs look even bigger than they are which I don't want to accentuate that. My waist isn't, is it's down here. I feel like the that bit that cinches in should be around my waist down here, not around my boobs. I just feel like a lot of midi dresses at the moment are this style, which is why I've been struggling so much. Apart from that, this dress is lovely and it's the perfect midi length again. It's a little bit shorter than the ones I've tried on. I think it's a lovely dress for spring, I would say, because it's got the double layer. So it's very, very good quality, but it'd probably be a bit too warm for the middle of summer. I love the ruffle detail around the neck and the shoulders like I said and it's even the attention to detail around the neckline and then I really like the button detail. I love that they've got the tie waist but it's just unfortunate that it doesn't tie around your actual waist. And then there's a really lovely detail just at the bottom where it's got this bit of a tear as well which I think is really lovely. So in terms of how I would style this dress, I have got a pair of white 
sandals from New Look as well. These are just another real basic, they're just a flip flop style but they have the strap around the back as well just to keep them on. And then I'll also carry on the white cream colour and use my bag that I used from earlier with the pearl strap again. So next I've got on another pair of white shorts. I think these are absolutely awful. I just hate the style of them, they're very very cheap. So these are from New Look but they are the Quiz clothing brand. I think Quiz is a little bit hit and miss. Don't know if I should be saying it because I do have some pieces from Quiz. I have a lovely play suit which I absolutely love and the quality is fine. But I think some of the cheaper pieces from Quiz aren't necessarily the best of quality. And I think these shorts are one of those. I think they've just been really cheaply made. This button on the front isn't actually useful as a button. It's literally just got an elasticated waist and then they've just popped a button there which I think just looks really tacky and then even this bit at the front is not a zip, there's not a zip underneath there, it's just all made very cheaply and I think they are a little bit too short for me as well so I wouldn't feel very comfortable in these. They're quite a nice shape, they're nice and flowy and it, they kind of look a bit like a skirt which I quite like but apart from that I'm really not a fan, I don't like this material either, it's just like a stretchy scuba material which I think also makes things look very cheap as well. I won't bother popping anything else on with it, but if you did like these shorts, again, you could probably just style it with some nice white sandals. They could probably be dressed up for an evening out in the summer as well. But yes, they're just not for me. Next up, I have just popped on a pair of wide leg trousers. So I've got a pair of white wide leg ones and like a greyy kind of colour. So I really wanted some pink ones for spring and summer because the greyish ones are a bit more like autumn winter colour. These, I would say they're purple, they're not pink. So they're not the right colour that I thought they were going to be. I think the style is okay but I don't think they fit me very well. I think the crotch is a bit too low. They're not flattering on the bum and I don't like this stretchy waist at the back. I would much prefer it if it was just this flat waist all the way around. Saying that, these were a really good price. They were pretty cheap. I think they were like £16. So you can't really go wrong too much with a pair of trousers that are £16. They feel nice quality and the material is really lovely. But yes, I'm just not a fan of the colour. I think it is way more purple than pink. So they, these wouldn't really go very well with things in my wardrobe. So I won't bother styling these up, but the idea behind them was to be able to have some wide leg trousers that I could wear of an evening in the summer. So I'd probably style them with some heels and a really nice blouse. Wow. Okay. This, I think, is my favorite dress. It's another midi dress. It's in this lovely green color, which I don't normally go for. It's a little bit of a brighter green than I thought it was going to be, although from far away it looks more of a khaki, which is what I thought it was when I looked online. So I actually really like the colour though. I only have a few things in green, but obviously because it's a dress, it doesn't matter too much if it doesn't go with anything else. But I know that I'll probably be able to style this up quite a few ways. I think it would look lovely with a denim jacket, even with like a little pink cardigan, because it has got white flowers on and then there's little pink leaves as well. I love the fit of it. I really like this ruched detail around the neck and the little tie. The sleeves are their slightly puffed sleeves. It goes in around my waist and it has the tie at the back so it cinches me in in all the right places. It has the lovely slit which I think is really flattering as well. The length is perfect. I think I might have found the perfect midi dress. Finally, I will quickly show you how I would style it up in one way, but I think this is very versatile and you could style this in so many different ways. How I'm going to style it today, I will just pop on some pink ballet flats with this and then add my pink Ted Baker bag as well. 
Okay then my lovelies, the last thing from the new look part of this haul is these shorts. They're okay. That is kind of all I have to say about them. They're still quite tight, which is unusual because I have sized up. So I think the sizing is really off. If you did want to go for them, I would probably size up two sizes, which seems ridiculous, but they are tight around my waist. I think when I move in them, the way that they sit, just they just don't fall right, so they end up kind of riding up. I think they're a nice length to start with, but walking around in them, I don't think they'd be very practical. One thing I will say, the pockets sit way nicer on these ones than those other ones that I tried on. So I do prefer that. But yeah, they're quite a basic white short, I guess. They're more of like a tailored fit, which I do like. And I think that's the kind of style that I'd like to go for. I won't style these ones up either. I think you can, you know, they're pretty basic. You can style them up however you really like. That's the end of the new look section of the haul. So next up, everything that I show you now will be from H&M. Okay, so I've got the first two items on from H&M. So I ordered these lovely pink, like a dusky pink wide leg trouser. And I've also got on this really nice white cami top with the frill on the sleeves. I think we are off to a good start with this outfit. I absolutely love the trousers, they're the perfect length for me. They're really nice, light, airy material as well, which is lovely for spring and summer, which is exactly what I wanted them for. They obviously do need an iron, so do mind that. I love that they've got the stretch around the waist, but it's not that horrible sheared waistline like it was with the new look ones. So they look way more expensive. They've got the belt loops as well, so you can pop a belt round, which I think would really add to this look. As for the top, I really like the style. I love the frill on the sleeves. The only thing I would say is it's quite short. Um, I was hoping for it to be a bit of a longer top. But it's kind of, it's not quite cropped, but it's not full length either. So I can just about tuck, tuck it into high waisted things like these trousers. So it does still work, but I reckon if you kind of lifted your arms up or anything, it would probably untuck quite easily. But I do really like the style and everything. So this is definitely a contender to keep. But I will quickly just style this outfit up for you, how I would style it for spring and summer. So because the trousers are a little bit more of a statement being the colour that they are, I'd probably pair things to match the top. So I'm just going to pop my cream off-white bag with the pearl strap with this that you've seen a few times already in this video and also some white ballet pumps. Oh my god guys. Okay, this dress is stunning. The way that it moves, I can't stop squishing the, squishing the skirt and the colour is gorgeous as well. It's this lovely mint green colour. It's a wrap dress, but it's not actually, so it's actually got a sewn bit here, so it doesn't just like flap open in the wind, which is really lovely. The shape, I love this shape dress. It really accentuates the waist, and I love how the skirt goes out. I think this would be the perfect wedding guest outfit. I am actually going to a wedding in July as well, so I feel like this would be the exact outfit that I could possibly wear. So I'll style this up for a wedding guest outfit because I think this is the kind of perfect dress for that. But I think you could also dress it down really easily with just some flats. So maybe flat sandals or some ballet flats as well and make it more of a casual like daytime look too. But for this look, I'm going to style it with some white wedges and just a little white clutch bag to go with that. Oh guys, I'm so gutted about these shorts. I love the style of them. I love these po this pocket detail on the front, but they're so tight. I've only just been able to get them done up, but then they're really baggy around the bottom. So they fit horrifically. This is why I struggle so much with shopping because you're not, you're never just a size or even just around a size. It's 
it seems to be all over the place all the time and I hate it so much. If you struggle with the same thing, please do let me know in the comments below so that I know that I'm not alone. But yeah, that is such a shame for these shorts because I absolutely love the style and the colour is really lovely as well. If you're going to go for these shorts, if you don't mind the bagginess at the bottom, size up probably two sizes in these so that they actually fit around your waist because these are definitely not true to size. On the other hand, I've got this other white cami top on and it is so cute. I don't know what you call this kind of pattern on here but I've seen it loads recently and it's very adorable. I love the little bow and I love the lace detail as well. The straps are nice and thin so it's perfect for summer. It is a bit more cropped than the other top but I like that you can still tuck it in. I really really like this one. I think I prefer this one to the first one. So this is probably higher on my list to keep at the moment, but I do have one more. In terms of styling for this outfit, it's obviously a very simple, very casual outfit. So you could go one way and style it up with kind of really colourful pieces, maybe do things a little bit more over the top. But for this, I'm just going to stick nice and simple. I'm just going to pop on my tan sandals, which are from the beginning of the haul. And then also I'm going to pop on just a tan crossbody bag. Next, I've got another two pieces to show you. First, let's start with the shorts again. Again, they are so tight. They obviously need an iron. I love the style again, but... They're just so tight. They are quite see-through as well. I don't really want to show you the back because you can literally see everything. But yes, they are very see-through. So these wouldn't be a yes from me anyway. So that does mean, unfortunately, I've not found any white shorts, which is the one thing that I really wanted from this haul. The other thing, of course, is this gorgeous blouse. This I absolutely adore. Obviously, at the moment, it doesn't fit that nicely around my tummy because these shorts are just digging in so much. But if my tummy was sitting properly, this would look so flattering. I love the neckline, this gorgeous sweetheart neckline. The puff sleeves, the really pretty floral print, and it's the sheared material as well. And it's just got this little kind of peplum frill at the bottom, which I think is really flattering too. I'll quickly style this look up for you, even though I definitely won't be keeping these shorts, just to give you a little bit of an idea of how I would style these. So I do have another pair of white sandals. These ones obviously from H&M. I love the style of these, they're really pretty. I didn't think they would actually be very comfy, but the sole feels nice and squishy, which is a good sign. So I'm just going to pop these ones on. I would then just add a little bit more pink to the outfit just so that you have the pink in the top continued through the rest of the outfit as well and add my pink Michael Kors bag with this. This dress has such good potential but as much as I love how it looks and how it fits it's the material that is just completely putting me off. It's so like crunchy. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. So obviously it would need an iron every single time you wash it, which I hate buying anything that you have to iron like that. But it's just too crispy and it would annoy me just like walking along and like crunching like that. <laughs> but apart from that, the style is lovely. You could wear it on the shoulder like this or obviously you could wear it off the shoulder, which I think would be really pretty as well. I think it definitely is more of a holiday dress. I love the detail on these sleeves, it's just stunning. I really, really like it. It's very simple, but I think it's a nice classic summer dress. So I've got on the last proper outfit, I've got again shorts and a top combo. I'll start with the shorts again. So these fit a little bit better, they're still on the tight side but I don't think I would need to size up fully. I would imagine they would stretch over time, obviously they are denim so you're not going to get too much give out of them but they do fit which is a plus considering all the other shorts have been horrific. They're quite a basic short, just a mum style, I don't know that they're the most flattering for me so 
I don't think I'll keep be, be keeping these ones, but they are the right denim colour that I am looking for. For the top, I've just got another white vest top on. This one is even more basic than the other two, but I actually really like it. I think this will go with everything, which is exactly what I wanted. And it's just got that lovely detail, the lace around the neck and the shoulders as well. This is again just a very basic outfit. I won't bother styling it up because I would just style it the exact same way as the other shorts and top combo. Last but not least is just these comfy shorts that I'd wear just at home. I just wanted a pair of lounge shorts because I didn't have anything like that. I really like them, they're very comfy, I love the stretchy waist but I think I will return them and swap them out for a different colour because I feel like these are just too close to my skin tone that if I did like just pop down the shops in them or something people probably have to do a double take because it looks like I might be naked and obviously I don't want that but yes that is everything from the H&M order so my lovelies that is everything from today's haul I hope you really enjoyed today's video and I hope it's given you a little bit of inspiration for what you would like to buy for this summer. There are a few really lovely pieces in there that I will be keeping. If you'd like to see what I will definitely be keeping from this haul, head over to my Instagram because I will pop everything up on my stories. I'll also link all my favourite pieces from this haul over on my stories as well. So definitely go give me a follow over there. If you would like any links from today's video, definitely let me know in the comments or send me a DM over on Instagram as well and I can send those to you. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you.